is me again, Ro Wen Huang. <laughs> After talking about victimizations,、um, I want to come back and talk about this disease. is is a disease. It's not disease. It's a illness. It's a illness. It ties in very closely to victimization. Before I begin, let me first introduce myself. My name is Ro Wen Huang. I'm an author, spirit coach, and also a psychic. Today, I want to talk about panic attack. I'm not quite sure many of you ever heard this word before.、Mm-hmm. Um, I myself encounter panic attack a lot, you know, for a period of time, and then that is also why I look into vic- victimization, you know,、um, and then then I start to realize how tightly they work with one another. <laughs> so that's why I want to talk about that, and now I want to talk about this panic attack. Panic attack is basically you, your body, your physical response to, you know, responds us. You're panic when you're panic to a point, and you're physically simply responds to that, right? Everybody responds a little bit differently, but sometimes they can be extreme. And then a lot of time, people will say, you know, that is, um, it's all in your mind, it's all in your head, you know. I'm here to speak for those people who experience panic attack. It's really not in your head. Is it, when it actually happened, there's nothing you can do about it. You know, like for me myself, I experience heart pain, like severe heart pain. Not not even just you know a little bit. It feel like someone just squeeze my heart, and then all of a sudden all the blood start flowing. You know, I have a very short of breathing. I'm not even joking. It just simply feel like I'm gonna die right there because I. It's like your body come to a point. It just wanna shut down itself. It's no longer functional. So it's a it's a physical experience. Fake, it's not. It's it's very real. As real as you can be. You know what I mean. And due to my、uh, family history, ah,、uh, my dad did die from heart attack. And you know, not heart attack, but did have a heart attack. Did did have. High blood pressure, and they have a stroke. I did worry for that period of time, thinking maybe I inherit something from my dad, right? So I did undergo a lot of physical exam to check if my heart is okay because it it does happen quite regularly, and then it is a very uncomfortable feeling. So what I'm here to clarify with you is, is panic attack mostly in your head. Yes, it is、It's、caused by head, <laughs> but the physical experience is really real, right? So everybody's different. It depends on how they respond to panic, and how their how their will react. But anyway, after experience、um, several times about that, and then get to my concern, and then for me to start looking into why why it caused this, that what caused this. Panic attack is a very typical, typical. It's not typical. Same as cancer. It's very typical emotional, emotional illness. That is, panic attack is purely caused by your emotion. That is, when your emotion is getting way too overloaded, way too much. You know, you simply cannot handle it anymore. You tend to have a reset button. That is, you know, we all know anything you overrun computer. You know, or any electricity you ever overrun that is shut down or you burn out. That's basically the same response that we will have through our body. So, right now, for many of you who did do still, I don't know, experience panic attack. I really want you guys to take my previous episode about vi-、um, victimization really seriously, like, not joking, really seriously. That means I don't want you to question yourself. Do I have it? Most likely, you have it. You do have it. That's why you have a panic attack, right? So, the reason I want you to work this is, and why I say those two things connect very closely together. For one who used to be a victim, or you know, either the way you grow up, the way you get brought up, or your tendency or something. If you used to be a victim, very often we all know what's the mindset. Mindset is there's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. You know what I mean? 
because you believe there's nothing you can do. Why? Because you're so used to playing a victim. Victim is not supposed to do something. Hero is supposed to do something. Victim is not supposed to do something. Victim is meant to be punished or deal with all the victim things. You know what I mean? Therefore, your mindset is already giving up on you. That is, there's nothing I can do, right? Because your mindset is already like that. Whenever you're dealing with panic, guess what that voice continues telling you? There's nothing you can do. That is, when you're dealing with panic situation, event, people, or something, your body simply don't know what to do. Because your body, your mind, your soul don't believe there's anything you can do. So what do you react to it? You panic and you don't know what to do about it. Right. So as I, if you follow my episode by now, you must know our body simply respond to what our soul command, because your soul commanded that there's nothing you can do. Therefore, what you can simply deal with is allowing panic to attack you. Meanwhile, feel helpless, powerless, and then there's nothing I can do. So you will continue let this emotion running within your body until you physically giving up. So that's when you are experiencing actual physical pain. Like for me, it feel like I'm having a heart attack, and then I seriously cannot breathe. I try really hard to breathe, air just will not come out. It will not go in, right? So that is when you know you got this serious experience, and you go to a doctor. Doctor say, "Oh, you're just having a panic attack." Now, is it possible to get rid of panic attack? Yes. For me, I'm simply sharing my own personal experience. The moment you start to realize I do have a tendency to become a victim, victim in any situation. I know, I know. I mean, you guys can say no, whatever. <laughs> I know how hard it is to deal with it. I know how hard it is to confront it. So I'm not here saying saying it like I never experienced before. I'm saying in the point that I myself deal with it. So I know how hard it is. But I do want to share with you. The moment you start to realize you victimize yourself. And you are aware. You're willing to be so genuine to yourself, and willing to work it through. Like, look, let's work together. I no longer want to play a victim in my life because that's not what I stand for, and that's not what I believe. Because I want to be the one who deserves happiness. I want to be the one who deserves wonderful things happen to me, right? Well, the moment you start to believe in that, and then you let go of that victim, victim role that you play. All your life, <laughs> you realize the first thing that give up in your head is there's nothing I can do. You know what I mean? Instead, it's replaced. There must be something I can do. There must be something I can do, right? So no matter in what situation you put yourself in, maybe a very panic situation or you know a mess or something emergency happen, your mindset will slowly train to believe there's something I can do. There must. Be something I can do. When you start to use to think in that thought, you realize even when you're dealing with panic situation, your the last thing your body wanna tell you to do is to shut down, right? Before, there's nothing I can do. Really, the best thing you can get away from the situation. I really wanna avoid the situation. I really don't wanna deal with you. I really don't wanna argue with you. And in this situation, I don't know what to do. Your body no longer tell you to shut down. Your body start to tell you there must be something you can do. Now do it. Now do it. You know what I mean? Don't stop playing victim. Start giving up on your body. Don't do that. You will start to hear a little voice. I know it sounds crazy, but you will start hearing a little voice. Try to encourage you to get out of that situation. It does take practice, a lot of practice, to be honest with you. But you can be free. From panic attack. So、uh, let me wrap it up again. Panic attack is a very solely emotional illness. Can you overcome it? Yes. It first requires you to understand: Are you playing a victim in the situation, incidents that you are dealing with right now? If you are, how can you pull yourself out of it? I know there's a lot of thinking, but. You know, I encourage you guys to do it. If you cannot do it in the incident, do it outside the incident when you are normal. You know, and then hopefully that will remind you 
when the incident actually happened. The moment you start letting go of the victim role in whatever incident you are, you will realize the tendency of getting the panic attack seems to reduce. And it will go as you become a stronger person, more confident person, and then, you know, as your confidence soul start to grow, that way you will start to realize you no longer have to have a panic attack because that is something that people believe. I believe there's nothing I can do, right? So you will experience, is it real? Let me say it again for those who never experience, it is real, you know? So if you really want to do something, maybe help them, help them to get out of that situation instead of continue fighting, get into that incident. How about try to say, you know what, take a break and say, you know what, you can do it. I believe you can do it. I believe, I believe in you because what you try to do is help them to get out of that panic situation, like victim situation. So anyway, just a little bit though, I myself, oh, if you wonder how long have I been free from panic attack, I would say I'm at least free from it for a good 10, 10 years, 13 years. So it never occurred to me <laughs> for that long. So I do believe all of you can, can come to where I am right now too. And you, you do realize as your confidence grow, as your soul start to evolve better and better, you will realize the symptoms of the panic attack seems to um, reduce as well. So anyway, just want to share with you all. Again, if you like what I'm doing, you can always join me live on Facebook or go to subscribe my YouTube channel or my website, ryown.com. Till then, talk to you guys next time. Bye.